In this video we're looking at adding pictures and lettering to our comic. Okay, so in, we've got our framework all set up ready to go and we can add a picture by tapping on the picture button here. And we've got a couple of choices. We can take a photo straight away using the camera icon, icon or we can use photos that we've already collected from our camera roll or our different photo albums. So I've got some photos down here in our camera roll and I'm going to choose this one because my comic's going to be about some of my favourite iPad accessories. Once the photo's in place you can move it around to get the best position. You can use two fingers to make it larger or smaller. There we go, so I'm going to get it so I want people to be able to see the snake clamps there and that looks about right. Once I'm happy I can tap away and it's in place. So let's do this with some other pictures. So again, picture, camera roll, Let's go this one, so this time I'm talking about the Reflector app, which is another big favourite for me. Let's see if we can drop it down there and lose the watch video a bit. Close enough, there we go. I'm going to scroll down, got another one to put in. This time we're going to go for Jealous Skins, or as I call it, Dress Up for iPads. So these are some fancy skins you can get to personalise your iPad. Yep, that's looking pretty good. Let's just move that down out of the way so I can see. Yep, about there. Okay, and lucky last for my favourite tools. Here we go, good old Apple TV. Down a little bit, perfect. And I'm actually going to use the middle for some lettering, so I'm just going to put in a patterned background. Fantastic. Alright, so got all my photos in and ready to go. Now I'm going to add some lettering. So for this I'm going to bring the tray back up again. And this time I'm going to choose lettering so I can get my fancy writing for the title, if you like, of my comic. So I'm going to call this Favourite iPad Accessories. Now we can't see it all at the moment because the box is a bit small. What we can do is select that box. Let's get rid of the typing. Pop it over here. Click and hold. Sometimes it's a bit tricky to pick up. There we go. A bit easier on the corner. And I can make it as wide, skinny, tall, thin as I like. So I think I'm going to make it about so. A little bit too big. Bring it back a bit. There we go. Favourite iPad accessories. Now, while I've got it there, I've got to tell you orange isn't one of my favourite colours, so I can actually go in while it's selected. You can tell it's selected because it's got the blue around the edges. I can pick on the eye and I can go and look at some options in terms of my style and choose colours or patterns. So I might choose to go pink or rainbow, Whew, intense, or blue which kind of ties in with what I've been doing, or maybe some lime green. And again, you've got a whole range of options that you can choose from. So that changes the fill. I can also change the border by choosing the border up here and saying, oh, I really want my border background to be, mm, let's see, I had a really deep black. And I can choose how thick the outlines are. I can choose the width of the line, how much it stands out. Whew, maybe a little bit too far. Let's take it back a bit. Alright, and I can choose how the letters join together as well. So lots of options. And then finally I've got effects as well. Do I want a shadow to go underneath it? So I can drop in a shadow and I can decide if I want the shadow to be up the top, down the bottom, or wherever you need it to be. In this case, I don't want a shadow on mine, so I'm going to turn it off. Finished, then I tap away. And there we go, I've got my pictures in, and I've got my fancy lettering in for my title.